Hey, what's up? This video is like what I think about, or what an American thinks about Kubia. Uh, I already did a video talking about traveling in Korea, so this is just what an American thinks about Korea. Um, yeah, I was there five months, teaching English five and a half months. Um, I was in Seoul. Korea is kind of interesting. It's kind of a, what's the word, dichotomy place, kind of black or white, this or that, because, like, they either love you or they hate you, seems like, um, you know, I had, like, Koreans come up to me on the street and be like, oh, thank you, thank you, uh, you know, like, thank you for rescuing us from the Chinese and our Koreans and kickstarting their economy and everything, but then I'd have them flip me off in the street, too, like, while I was selling cigars, they'd, like, flip me off and then try to, like, rob me and crazy shit, um, because I'm probably, because I'm American. And then working with them, you know, none of them wanted to talk to me. And the women, the women, there's kind of like different countries. You have like problems between certain groups, like in Europe, that would be between the classes. And in the United States, it would be between the sexes and the ages. Uh, but in Korea, it's between the sexes. It's kind of like, kind of women are kind of like, I guess, starting to want to be more um, independent. But men are still like, kind of like, try to tell them what they can and can't do. Like... I was having lunch with a Korean girl who was married to an American guy and she like belched while she was talking to me and these two Korean older Korean guys next to her were like said something to her in Korean and she was like started yelling at them in Korean and I guess they like told her she wasn't ladylike for belching or something like that and you know even though they didn't even like know her and stuff so that kind of thing um they're very 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 well-dressed, like, well, no, I don't know if well-dressed is the right word. They're very dressed up, like, business dress. Like, 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 they'll wear, like, the ties and the white shirts and the coat and the jackets. Like, the suits all the time. Like, in the streets, walking around, like, every, every man's got those on. All the women are dressed up, like, in, you know, like, business outfits, you know. Like, I went to Japan for a weekend, and people were dressed down there, wore je jeans and normal clothes, like, in America. But in Korea, they, they were all dressed up. I was there in 98. Um, and they get drunk really easily, dude. Um, I think it's like a genetic thing. They just can't handle their alcohol. Like, it's funny. Like, on the weekend, you'd see, like, you know, women completely passed out. And, with, and like, on, on the shoulder of a guy who's, like, literally carrying them home because they're passed out. You know, our guys, like, laid out on the sidewalk just out. And, you know, their friend's kind of hovering around them, you know, like... Like they drink and then they're boom they're gone but that's not completely the fault of them genetically i think it's also or even culturally it's 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 the alcohol they, they choose to drink called soju which is like totally dangerous it's made out of i think it's like rice wine i guess that would be like sake in japan but it's like maybe it's the same thing as sake but it was like really 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 potent and really cheap for like i think it was like 90 cents or something i get a bottle and if you drink 90 cent bottle of soju it wasn't within the course of like three hours you're going to be completely freaking hammered and i remember i drank some soju i don't know how much i drank maybe it was a bottle and then i had i got like another 90 cent bottle or something but i mean i was gone next thing i know i was with friends you know next thing i know I wake up in a pool of puke at three in the afternoon and I don't remember anything. All I remember is hanging out and there's like a seeing a bush and then the next thing I know is I'm waking up and you know, I went downstairs and all my friends, you know, who I lived with were like laughing at me and I guess they told me I like took my pants off and chased after a bunch of Koreans and then like fell over a bush and they had to like carry me back or something. But like that happens, like I guess there were, like, lots of uh, Korean uh, businessmen who were found dead. Like, these are, like, really rich, like, leaders of the country. And there were, like, empty bottles of soju <laughs> on the table next to them. But, and they were, like, all dead. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, you can't wear your shirt there. Um, which is weird. They're like Asia. They have this problem where they they get grossed out easily by like if you like you can't show your feet in Asia and you can't take your shirt off. Like I was hiking with my brother up in the mountains, 
on this big hill right out, right out, pretty much right in the middle of salt. It's pretty pretty. And these Koreans were like, put your shirt on. And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, dude, in Korea, you can't do that. And I was like, well, oh, fuck, all right. But, like, Seoul is really pretty because there's this huge river that goes through the middle of it. Um, and then, you know, at that hill. But, um, there, uh, but Seoul is crazy. It's like a really young town, a young city. It's like, it was just a village 50 years ago, and now it's like the 10th biggest city in the world. And, um, like, if you look at it, it has, but it has, like, tracked housing, track, um, you know, like, like, really high, um, apartment buildings for, like, miles and miles and miles and miles, just huge, like, kind of, like, really, it's wacky, it's, like, it, but, I mean, it did kind of seem like kind of a utopia, and I said that to some Korean lady, it was a job interviewing, and she, like, got pissed off at me for saying that, because it was, like, their devaluation or whatever time, but it's true, I mean, it seemed really peaceful, um, because they're really clean, they're, uh, they're all homo homogenous society, they're all, like, they look the same, and they act the same, and they think the same, um, and, uh, there's, like, no crime, like, I left my bike unlocked for, like, um, uh, for, like, three days in the center of town, and, like, it was fine, and then another day I left it unlocked for a few days, and I think somebody did try to open up the lock, because the little face was, was knocked off, and I had to pay a locksmith to cut it. And he was like, is that your bike? <laughs> but he believed me in the end. But, um, um, I, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's just, you know, it's like a safe place. You know, like people can pass out on the street with their wallet hanging out and nobody's going to come and grab it because their economy is good enough. You know, I mean, like it's, it's, I think it's one, at least 10 years ago, it was one country ahead of uh, Chile and Argentina, you know, and I spent time in Chile and Argentina, and Chile and Argentina are third world countries compared to Korea, um, even though Koreans would only, would make just as much, um, but, uh, you know, like, not nearly as safe, but they're really clean, like, they're really, like, obsessed with cleanliness there, like, and they get grossed out really easily, like, I was brushing my teeth one day in the bathroom, before class in the school I was working at, and I guess I, I got in trouble with it. But if they have a problem with you, they don't tell you. They have to tell somebody else to tell you. Like, they had to tell the, the Korean girl who I taught with to tell me. And then they I, they couldn't tell me who it was who said that, you know, and some other stuff like that, too. They're, but that's kind of like, a, that's actually consistent with third world countries, is they don't confront, they never, nobody ever confronts you about anything. They also have to tell the designated person to tell you, and they tell you. Um, but, um, but, uh, they are known as being really insular and thinking, um, they're, like, smarter than everybody else from, like, a long time ago, and that, like, they were the last people to do trade with the West, and, uh, they are called the Hermit Kingdom because of that, and, um, they, yeah, it does kind of seem like that. Um, but I mean, it's easy to make Korean friends there, you know, Koreans would love to hang out with you and stuff, also to, like, learn English, they, like, it's really, it was really easy there, and I heard it still is to get an English teaching job, but anyways, that's what American thinks about Korea.